And wouldn't you believe that's not just the case with Edwin Brown? When you go back and you look at the diaries of the men who fought at Williamsburg, they did not forget it. So why have we? It's a good question. And that's one of the things I intend to go over with you all today. But what a miserable honor to have. An awful accolade. A forgotten battle. It's almost like, so all you guys who fought that day, you know, you're not nearly as cool as Chancellorsville. But why? I mean, why have we forgotten about Williamsburg? Think about it. I mean, when you think about Williamsburg, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Rockefeller. I forgot this is an academic room. <laughs> the juxtaposition by the British Empire and the transatlantic marketplace. Jeez, you guys are awake. No, George Washington, cocked hats, breaches the American Revolution. Nobody thinks about Civil War Williamsburg. But think about Williamsburg's actual colonial history when George Washington marches down that Duke of Gloucester Street in 1781 on his way to Yorktown. There is one single business open in Williamsburg, just one. Not a real bustling town as it would be today. But still, our public memory commands colonial Williamsburg. Jamestown, and of course, Yorktown. So we don't often think of Civil War Williamsburg. And it's also forgotten in the period because within a few short weeks after the Battle of Williamsburg, we have this massive clash around Richmond. And the newspapers who are just getting ready to write about Williamsburg switch. Okay, we'll write about seven days instead. The failures of scholarship over the last 150 years. It's only within the last few years that we've gotten decent books about the Battle of Williamsburg, the importance of the Peninsula Campaign. So why not write about Williamsburg? In fact, when you go back through the books, some of the best books from our favorite historians, one in particular, has six pages about the Battle of Williamsburg. Six pages! That's it. Maybe it's not a sexy topic. Maybe it's not nearly as interesting. Maybe it wouldn't sell. Maybe the publisher said no. So it'll be my goal here in the next three and a half hours of my lecture. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <laughs> to make you realize that Civil War Williamsburg is the historic triangle's most important period. 